Hello. Hope you're cozy because it's time for episode one of Secret of Evermore, which is another Super Nintendo game made by Squaresoft in 95. This was made by the North American team of Squaresoft, which I have no idea if it, that exists anymore. I think it's like the only game they made, Secret of Evermore. Not to be confused with Secret of Mana. The plan was for this game, I'm pretty sure, was they were told to make a game like Secret of Mana or use a similar system. Uh, we have to do my name. Estat. Yeah, so it's designed similar to Secret of Mana. I'm pretty sure they made it from scratch. They didn't like copy the engine of Secret of Mana because it does play differently. Like the glitches of the game are different and the feeling of the game are different. Podunk, USA. Got a cutscene. Fall 1965. Is that what it looks like? 50% off everything. Nice. Birds. Crying people. Is she crying or does she have a hurt eye? The movie hurt her eye so bad that she's in pain. Al's Barbershop and Kitty. Does it say male or hail? Smith's Hardware. Everything's 50% off. An experiment is about to conclude. Birds. Bird experiment? Bees? Are those real people? Nah. It's a big building. Keeps going. You guys spooked out yet? My friends, prepare to be a part of history. Psst. With a twist of a knob here and a flip of a switch here, there, whatever it said. That went by quick. Wait a minute. That's not right. Explosion. An experiment gone wrong. 30 years later. 95. Bijou, is that how you say it? The Lost Adventures of Vex. What a classic. My favorite part was the battle with the slime beast in the toxic swamp. You could hardly tell that it was really a bunch of old tires and a garden hose. Where are you going, buddy? That's not the way home. Doughead. Where's he going? Now where did he go? Music is great. By the way. Hmm, the door is open. The music is by... I better take a look inside. The music is by Jeremy Soul. There you are. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to listen to the music at the same time and getting distracted. Yikes! Watch out for that. Oops. Hey look, a mummy, a chainsaw, and a balloon animal. What is he what is he finding? What's going on here? Hmm, this wall panel's kinda loose. Wow, I think we found some sort of secret entrance. Spooky music. Wow. This looks like the PZS plasma drive in when I can't read consonant something. I wonder if it works. The text kind of blends in again with the background. Whoa! We should get out of here before something goes terribly wrong. What are you doing? Hey, don't chew on those wires. Transforming doggy. Uh-oh. That's my response too when something goes crazy. Uh-oh. Explosion! Who's this? What do we have here? An intruder, I fear. Is he rhyming? Is he a rhyming boy? That was some blast, that's some pig. Whoa, who? Who are you? That's not important. We've got to get you out of here. 
I can't have you meddling with the professor's experiments. Come along. What's that, Carltron? Do we have a visitor? It's no one. No one at all. That's enough to continue with your work, Professor. Enough to distract him. Okay. He doesn't care. Doesn't care that there's a random kid around. After you. So his name is Carl Tron. Carl Tron, not Carlton. Now what? So we can remove, yep. So yeah, it's like Secret of Mana where you have the ring menu. Okay, your stats. That's us. E stats, stats. See that a million times over. Other player, what does that mean? The dog stats. So the dog is somewhere. But yeah, there's the ring menu. Act. You can change how the computer plays. Um, edit if you want to, I guess, change your controls. Edit the window. Actually, why not? Can you do green? Can you do color? No? Hey, never mind. Not, not that exciting. Let's do that. Sure. Targeting. I think that makes the computer target certain targets. <laughs> Good explanation. Level. That's for weapons. We'll get in that later. Uh, yeah. So move around. Run? No, we can't run yet. So yeah, I was saying, uh, Jeremy Soul, is that how you say his name? Did the music for this. It was his first game. So he's known for like the Elder Scrolls and stuff like that. Like Morrowind and stuff. He made music for that. But yeah, it's got some spooky music. So what's in here? A bazooka. Cool. That's how he said it, right? Cool. So this is like a tutorial. This does not look good. You can't really die here, I don't think. Yeah. So you shoot with B, and like Secret of Mana, you, you've got the little charge up time at the bottom. Yeah, whenever you shoot or attack. So if you don't wait, then you do like a weaker attack. So it's like that, it's like a timed attack, sort of thing, I guess. Yeah, so essentially, oops. I'm gonna line up and shoot. Ton of damage, oh yeah. Wait for it to uh, recharge and then shoot again. Nice. We did it. We beat the game. That was it. That was Secret of Evermore. See you later. Just kidding. This looks like a way out. Is that you, buddy? Can't see you very well. It's dark in here. Hey, I think this is some sort of futuristic escape pod. And we broke it. There goes the control pad. We're falling. We're gonna die. Help. But yeah, this, like I was saying, this was made by the North American team. I don't think it ever got over to Japan. And it's, yeah, played like Secret of Mana. I think it was built from the ground up, though. Oh, that was some landing. I think the pod and bazooka are shot. Where am I anyway? And where's my dog? Hey, buddy. Pupster. Where are you, boy? He's big. It looks kind of different. Is that really you? You've changed. Hmm. If you're really my dog, you'll fetch this stick. Go get it. Sniffy boy. It's not a stick. But it'll do. Come on, buddy. Let's look something. I didn't finish this. Pressed B too quick. Oh, yeah. So... You can switch between the players if you want. If you want to play as the dog, you can select and then play as the dog. He's kind of slow, though. I think, generally speaking, he's stronger in every aspect than the boy. I think we can actually check. So, yeah, the stats in the bottom left. They're about the same now. Uh, actually, the dog has more defense. I think eventually the boy gets better magic defense over time, maybe. But generally speaking, the dog is better. And generally speaking, you don't 
he's slow, like he walks around slow, so you don't really want to play as him. He's just kind of an assist character. And if the boy dies, then it's game over. If the dog dies, then he, you can always revive him. And you'll notice he's sniffing. What is he sniffing? This is an item. I found a pedal. I think that's a healing item, right? Yeah. Heals 40, I think. Oops, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, so the dog can sniff out items. Both things you can see and things you can't see. And if you use, if you use L or R targets, he, it'll make him sniff. And so he's... Notice how he went over to that one spot like that? Yeah. So if I press the button, it goes up there. Oops, sorry. And we found some roots. Dog is getting owned. Yeah. So yeah, he can sniff out items. Automatically or manually. See, right now I'm not pressing the button. What is he at? Found some water. So yeah, that's what the act is for the dog as well. So like if you wanted if you wanted him to mostly search for items, you can go over here. If you want him mostly to fight, go over there. Middle's fine. And yeah, the items that we're finding, can we look at that yet? I don't think so. So we found some roots and some water. We can't do anything with those yet. Is there anything over here? Sure. Let's keep going. Let's look around. Can't run yet. And he, dog's not doing too good. Good job. Got some mesquites. Kill some mosquitoes. Find some roots. Find some more roots. I kind of remember where things are. So I don't really need them sniffing everywhere. I don't think I'm going to find everything though in this game. We'll see how it goes. Find what we can. You don't really need to find everything, so... It's just more convenient the more stuff you find. Dog isn't doing too well. Mesquite. Oh yeah. We can check this now. So under swords we have bone crusher. One colon six. It's that means level one and six experience. I think right now how many did I kill three things yet or six things? The more things you kill with the Bone Crusher, it will eventually level up. I have to get the Killing Blow. Else, because if the dog kills it, he has his own attack skill here. So one col uh, yeah, one colon one. So whoever gets the Killing Blow gets the experience for your weapon. Trickster. Oh, they're dancing. Dog Mesquite Dance. Uh, also, mm, stats, kind of in the middle there, got 13 of that weird white, bluish white thing, that's talons, that's the money in this area, enemies drop it. You got your ex experience at the top left as well, so we're almost at a level up already. Let's keep on looking. Oops. Yeah, teamwork. We got some ash. Ash ketchup? No. Quality jokes here. Found some water. Pretty sure the mosquitoes don't give a lot of experience, but I think they're good for leveling up your weapons. Ooh, I think these guys have 18 health. Yeah. Some oil. stuff so much stuff so yeah you'll notice there's a lot of hidden stuff everywhere so finding everything might be tough over time we'll see how it goes oh what was that sometimes he sniffs randomly but I'll, okay it does look like he Stat reaches level two. Aw, oh, yeah. What is that? So our stats are up a bit. 
Also, yeah, I think the boy levels up quicker as well. So that's... Yeah. Does he have more health? No. Oh, he does. Yeah, okay. Ooh, 23. I like how if you attack at, like, a similar time, it adds up. It's kind of neat. Did it do that in Secret of Mana? I don't remember. Killing everything. Just destroying the wildlife in this random place. Clay. Roots. More stuff. And we have a path here that we can't go through. Let's see. How's the dog doing? Let's quickly... I'm gonna... I suppose I could heal him. I can quickly go back here. Just ignore that leaf dropping. Who cares about that? We can get seven experience quick. I think we're almost there. I think the plants give two. There you go. The dog reaches level two. That's his name, right? The dog? Is that a good name? Okay. So, there's a leaf that drops there. But first, I want to check the edges. For some goods. Some goodies. Three parts oil. That's a lot of oil. Just pick it up with my hands. Yeah, okay. So this is like a mini boss coming up here. You can lose it and it's okay. Let's see how we do. Got some bushes here. I have a strange feeling about this. Got some... Funky music and raptors. I don't want to do this. Should I just stand here and get them? Yeah, there you go. They attack once and then they run back into the bushes. Jump back out. So if I... Where was I standing? Like here? Where is he? Where'd he go? I think he went back into there. So if you lose this, it's okay. It's not a big deal. It's not a game over. I think there's four of these, so it takes a while. Oops, he kind of jumped out of uh, Kind of far away there. Let's see here. I'm being like super cautious. Because it does. They do quite a bit of damage. This isn't really going as fast as I thought it was going to be. Can I like corner them? No. Doesn't work. He did not like that. Oh, one down. If you win this, you get free armor. And the armor really isn't that good, but whatever. Ouch. Ouchie. There we go. That was a nice hit. We doing good. I find their chance to... My chance to hit drops when they attack. So I always want to try and hit them before they attack. I don't know if that's actually true or not. It just feels like it. We're actually doing pretty good. Oh, wow, look at that. Came out quick. Oh, weird. We got him through the bushes. I think I'm just getting really lucky. I feel like I always miss these guys. But they seem to be hitting. I don't know. Maybe I'm just that good. Just kidding. Using the dog as bait. I'm a good owner, right? Well, there we go. That went really well. 50 talons. And a pedal. Okay. Do we, oh yeah, we have to leave. Normally if you die, the dog drags you out of the area. And saves you, I guess. I guess we just gotta manually leave now. Into what looks like a village. Some fast moving people and walking around everywhere. 
A kid with a pet bee. Can I talk to the bee? We're not allowed to wander far from the village, but I've heard about a place where there are a lot of bugs and tar. My father, Strongheart, went there days ago and has, hasn't come back. What are you sniffing? Get some ash. We of the village of Fire Eyes welcome peaceful vis visitors. Thank you for protecting us from those nasty raptors. Please stay for a while and have some nice petals. Thank you. Is he sniffing? Man, they're super buff. Look at that guy down below. Get some water. You are not one of us, not a viper either. You are like Fire Eyes. Who is Fire Eyes? Look at this guy. Look how buff he is. You should talk to Fire Eyes before you walk into the dangerous quicksand field. Good tips. Got a fire here. Get some ash. I'll put some stuff down here. Anything? The new alchemist, Strongheart, is missing from his jungle hut. What are you sniffing? Roots. Gotta check every nook and cranny. Roots. Oops, get stuck on the door. Who's this? Oops, just take their items. Sure. The vipers and other jungle beasts dare not enter our village. Fire Eyes protects us from them. Is this like a fire? Is that what this is supposed to be? I wish I could run. Can I talk to the lizard? No. Look how fast they are, look at that. Nice lizard, huh? She knows how to sit, stay, shake hands, and roll over. Smart lizard. Okay, this is the hut where Fire Eyes is. I wanna skip it. There's a cutscene, so I wanna skip it for now. Check everything else first. Got another strong boy here. My brother Strongheart told me that he was going to look for the big bug at Bugma. He said that there may be Rare alchemy ingredients hidden in the bug's skeleton. Bug skelet. Strongheart searches the area often for ingredients. And when he returns, he always gives some of them to me. Then I will sell them to townspeople who know alchemy formulas. So, hmm. What does he have? I go to the bug monk to search for Strongheart. If I were more an adventurous guy. Maybe you could search for him after you've learned an alchemy spell. I'll provide you with ingredients. Oh, I, I guess I can't buy yet but we can take a stuff clay and money see you later another bee boy bee boy you like my bee his name is buzz he'll sting you sting sting you'll find alchemy ingredients aplenty if you search the village outskirts and, but be careful, the place is packed with creepy creatures. Fire Eyes has taught us everything we know. I've learned basket weaving, bird calls, and the metric system. Hmm. Isn't this the American game? Not Imperial? There are many special items that you should bring along with you on your journey. Petals, nectar, honey, heal wounds, and replenish energy. Heal wounds, essentially. Energy isn't a thing in this game up here. Hello, traveler. I'm the source for goods in this village. What can I do for you? Buy, sell. Let's see what they have. Yeah, you can buy petals. Essence. I think essence cures poison. I think that's what it does. Dog biscuit revives the dog if it dies. Pixie dust. I can't remember what pixie dust does. I never use it. It's really expensive. I should look that up and see what it does, but for now, it's not a big deal. I think in this game you can hold a total of six items. Or is it eight? Six or eight. Where in Secret of Mana you can only hold four for some reason. We don't need to buy anything. Water and roots. Check everyone's health. Roots and water. Thanks for fighting off the creatures outside our village. Please take this grass vest. There you go. 
So that's the armor you get if you beat the raptors. So if we go to equip, grass vest. This gives us plus three defense. So our defense is 10. It was seven before. Still worse than dogs. Does it do magic defense? Hold on. Let's check. Nope, just defense. Physical defense. So yeah, that's what you get. You don't get it if you beat if you don't beat the raptors. It's not a big deal. It's like starter equipment. You'll survive without it. Get some oil. This guy's blocking the way. Alchemy is the practice of combining ingredients for powerful and often magical results. I actually really like this system, the alchemy system. I think more games should do this kind of stuff. It's kind of neat. My family has used alchemy for many generations. Alchemy effects increase in strength when you use formulas often. So like in Secret of Mana, the more you use spells, they can level up. And in this game, you use ingredients like water and roots that we've been collecting to use spells. And I think that's really cool. You find ingredients and you can use them for the spells. And yeah, I think it's a really cool idea. This, uh, this game, honestly, could use a remake or something or something because I, I think it's pretty neat um <laughs> that's pretty neat but i guess what i'm saying is it's kind of unique and fun and i don't think a lot of people got a chance to play it and the music is interesting too right now the music's kind of basic because we're kind of in a village but there's some areas with some cool music so yeah i think this game could use a remake or something get get more exposures but i i doubt that's ever gonna happen i'd be curious if they even have the source code or anything anymore who knows who knows an adventurer must have shielding out in the field yeah out in the field ideal in strong armor <laughs> it's kind of hard to read maybe i should change the background i don't know I'll keep going for now what can i do for you so we got the grass vest. So yeah, 120 talents for that. So I mean, that's a pretty pretty good bonus we got there. We essentially got that for free. So, and you can buy grass hat and this stuff, but really, I think we find some of this stuff sooner anyways, and they're pretty expensive. So I'm gonna not buy those, I'm gonna avoid those. see I think that's pretty much it just collect everything some water some oil we can go up here but it's blocked off too bad let's go back let's go check out who this fire eyes person is oh wait we didn't go up here yet Collect everything. 30 talents. You look tired. You should have a nice meal and a rest at the inn. It's just next door. We could do that. Is it free? I can't remember. Nectar. I think nectar... Hmm. I think it heals like... For some reason I want to say 120. It's kind of a weird number. Or maybe it's 200? I guess we'll use one eventually and see. But it heals more than petals, that's the idea. Hello friend, welcome to my inn. Would you like to rest for 10 talents? Nah. We'll save though. Empty. Sure. See you later. Okay, let's go check Fire Eyes. Let's do it. This is the hut of our leader. Please show Fire Eyes your respect. Dog goes to sleep. Sleepy boy. Everyone's gathering. Fire Eyes, Fire Eyes. Are they chanting? Fire Eyes, Fire Eyes. They're summoning her? Them? Fire Eyes, Fire Eyes. 
to her. What? That's <laughs> so how she said it, right? What? Oh, hi. My name's Elizabeth. Everyone around here calls me Fire Eyes. This music's pretty good. Oh, hi. Estat is my name. All caps. Well, Estat, step into my hut. We'll talk. We will talk. We'll talk. We're gonna have a dance party with this music. Who let this wild beast in here? Rude. Oh, uh, that's my dog. He hasn't been himself lately. What's his name? Oh, we need to do a name. Bran. I said that really weird. Bran. Scream it. Yell it. All caps as well. Bran. Bran? That's original, is it? You're not from around here, are you? I'm not really sure where here is, to tell you the truth. You're an Evermore. In my prehistoric village, I'm the leader. You wouldn't know how to get to Podunk from here, would you? Podunk? Hmm, interesting. I might. Interesting if true. Maybe we can work something out. How do you like to make yourself useful around here? Well, I... The new village alchemist, Strongheart, has wandered off to the bug Bugmuck in the east. He's been searching for alchemy ingredients that are plentiful in the muck. If you can help him get back to the village, I will help you with whatever you need. Well, as Captain Leith Meldrock says in Mars Needs Lumberjacks, I'm ready for anything. I'm going to change that text background. <laughs> Before you go, I'd like to, I'd like, I'd like for you to have an alchemy formula that I've developed. I call it Flash. It's pretty powerful against mean creatures. B select Y exit. Yeah. So equip alchemy setup. Small fireball. So yeah, it's called Flash, and the ingredients it needs in the middle there is one. It looks like a candle, that's for wax, and two oil. So yeah, it's our first spell. It's a pretty it's a pretty decent spell, but you can imagine wax and oil are generally not cheap. You can use the formula whenever you have one part wax, two parts oil. Just select the spell and let it fly. The more you use the flash formula, the stronger it will get. Cool, thanks. So yeah, the glow. So we have two right now. Now we have this heat right here, alchemy. These are our formulas. We have two we can use right now. And the level of the spell in the middle there, zero, zero right now. Press R for ingredients. Here we have an ingredients list. So you can see we have two wax and eight oil. So our limiting reagent is wax. I just use the term limiting reagent. I guess that works for alchemy. That's chemistry, right? So, yeah, so it's one wax, two oil, so we have, you can only use it twice. We need more, we need more wax. And we have a bunch of other ingredients that we can't use yet. A lot of water. What do we have here? Biscuit and some water. So yeah, let's go check out the alchemy shop guy. Do we get more ash? It seems to always respawn here, no? Just kidding. I thought it did. My bro okay. Yep. Yep. Would you like to purchase ingredients? Sure. So you can see oil. You can buy five at 100. That's expensive. Wax is five at 120. Super expensive. So you can buy in chunks of five. Crystals are 80. Ash is only 60. Water is only 60. So yeah, you can see wax and oil are the expensive ones this guy in general actually is pretty expensive it's an expensive shop so i'm not gonna buy anything not yet and i think that was already 30 minutes about so i think we'll end it there got our first spell kind of getting used to the game and yeah we'll continue on to the east into the bug muck looking for strongheart Thanks for watching and see you later.